What is our motivation to live our life? What keeps us going? Why do we get up in the morning? Why do we choose to work what we work at? Or why do we choose to live the life we live? Um, and I think there are many different answers probably to that question or to those questions. For me, it's always about who do I want to be? How do I want to fulfill myself? So what expectation do I have of my life? When I was young, they were very different from what they are today. They were, I think a lot of it was like my filter system of this is a happy life. So a happy life, the expectation is I grow up, I marry, I have kids, I have a great husband, I have a great marriage, and then one day we'll retire and then I'll die. Interesting life expectations. But that was what they were living like when I was when I was young, when I was a girl. And then I grew up and I, I you know I started studying and, and I went on with my own life and I realized that's not what I want from my life. This is not what I expect from my life. Because it's not gonna fulfill me. It's gonna bore me to death. So I think a lot of the life expectations people anyway like me had, or not have anymore today, but had, came from social environment. You know, you, you go to school, you, you marry, you have kids, then maybe when the kids are gone, you, you maybe you get a little job or do something, and then you can take care of your husband. So life had a very low expectation. I think the highest expectation is to be happy. But how can you be happy when you're not fulfilled? And I think those are life expectations that keep us from fulfilling ourselves because it's like we're fulfilling somebody else's dream or we're fulfilling some, some society rules or we're fulfilling something that we are taught. Um, but my expectation for my life was, I want a happy life. At some point I also wanted a rich life, but I gave that one up a long time ago because I have really figured out, okay, that's really not what I want. I just want a happy life because that is the basis for, for me of, of getting out of bed every day because I am happy. It's like, not because I can do a job, not because I'm a good, good person, not because I'm a good wife or mother or anything like that. No, because I'm happy. I want to be happy. So the expectations I think we put on ourselves often are very unrealistic. It's like, you know, our, our lives have to be perfect. And perfect means perfect in the picture that we paint of our lives. And at some point we might realize, hmm, this is not really what my life is about or what I want it to be about. So I think a healthy dose of disappointment is very helpful in motivating us to actually open ourselves to what we truly want from our life, what we truly expect our life to be. Because I think we are fed so many ideas and so many concepts when we're young that we have to unfeed ourselves. We have to constantly empty ourselves from all of this preconceived ideas of what our life should be like. Like when I was um, a young woman and when I finished school, it was assumed automatically that you would go to university to study. Because if you had a high school degree, then you would go to school and study. But what if you don't want to? What if that is not the path you want to take? What if you choose to be an artist and you just want to sit on the side of the street and paint? So I think a lot of these expectations that we also have, or I definitely had, just came from this social environment. And disappointing that, being a dis knowing I was, or felt, feeling like I was a disappointment like to my parents, feeling like I was a disappointment maybe to myself, or to the people around me because I did not follow that path was a hard lesson, a harsh life lesson. At the same time, 
going through this disappointment, I allowed myself a completely different path. And I allowed myself to understand that if I am not happy, then I will be disappointed for the rest of my life. Fulfilling my self, fulfilling this contract I have with myself. And my contract for myself is be happy. Fulfilling this means to fulfill my expectation every day of being happy, but also allowing myself the disappointment of not making it every day, because that really motivates me. It's like, okay, I'm not done yet. I need to keep going. Because if I'm there, hey, then, then what do I do? What if I reach my goal? And then what? Is there a next goal? Or what if there isn't? So it's like really high expectations, I think, are awesome, but they still have to be extremely realistic. And leading a happy life, which for me is my highest goal, being myself, leading a happy life, means that I really, really, really have to face these parts of myself where I'm not living a happy life and trying to figure out how to change them. So it's like my life is perfect in one minute and then I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, it's not. So I, I have this constant battle or it's not a battle. Maybe it's just a balance imbalance that always forces me to find a way to get back into balance of when I'm unhappy or not really happy, which means I'm disappointed in maybe a choice or a life that I'm leading right now, then I have the motivation to go back to my expectations of having a happy life and then taking a different route, looking at it from a different angle, finding a different aspect. Okay, so for me, expectations and disappointments are what makes me go what makes me really 